I'm in a crater in the middle of Camden Gate. It's a big hole. But what is it? Is it a sinkhole? Or is it where a, um, a meteorite landed many, many years ago? We'll find out. Hi guys, and yeah, and welcome back. Yeah, we're in Gambling Gay. And uh, actually, I'm gonna show you the map where Gambling Gay is, because it, in fact, it's in the middle of nowhere, really. There's no main roads actually going to it. And um, I'm next to where the old uh, railway line uh, used to be. Now this railway line used to go from Bedford to Cambridge. Of course, it closed down in the 60s because of the cuts and everything. And uh, well, so apart from that, no main roads. Gambling Gay is actually really stuck in the middle of nowhere. Let me show you where it is. So here's the map. This is Gambling Gay just here. And as you can say, really, it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, St. Nears is up here, you've got Biggles Way down there, but there's no main roads, so as you see, it's a bit in the middle of nowhere. So let's have a look at Gambler Gay and, and what it's, it's all about. Um, in fact, Gambler Gay's been here since the Doomsday Book, uh, and in fact, there's been a settlement here, uh, well, the Bronze Age and even way back to the Stone Age, so, um, you know, there's been people living here for, for quite a long time. Well, I'm walking along Church Street, and uh, well, this is where they say that gambling, gambling gay actually started around this area, around because there was like a green here, and also of course there's the church here, which is actually there, which is behind me, and there's been a church here, well, since the 12th and 13th century, and before that there was just, there was another um, religious uh, building here as well, so that's about the church now you know I showed you earlier on that big hole in the middle of um, gambling game well that was in fact a quarry and that quarry is where they got the stones to build the church This small town or village is, um, it's a bit like Buntyford. It seems to have a lot of pubs. And in the 18, well, in the middle of the 1850s uh, and 60s, there was actually, believe it or not, 51 pubs here. 51! There must have been a lot of drunken people here. So I'm walking down um, Church Street now, notorious for traffic. It's a very, uh, it's a very narrow road and you see quite busy as well, a lot of cars parked along here and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a job to get past, especially, uh, you know, when people are going home from work or going to work. Anyway, we continue walking down Church Street and uh, we'll see what else we can actually see. And you see, I was talking about the traffic, people backing up. Some big lorries try to get through and everything. It's, uh, it can be a bit of a nightmare, actually, as you can see. This next row of houses look like, like old arm houses, actually. Um, built in 1665, so it says. Just cross the road over there is a, uh, as you can see, a uh, Chinese uh, a Chinese takeaway. Right, quite, quite a few little independent shops there. There was uh, LJ's there, which was a sandwich shop, and uh, here is a hairdresser's. Further along, we go past the uh, the co-op. Come across yet another pub. This is a very old pub, actually. This is uh, the Cock, and I do believe it's around about the 1600s. It was here. 
So it's a, it's a pretty old pub. Continue walking down to Church Street. We're coming up to the uh, sort of crossroads up here now. Now, I was told actually there is quite a lot of history here in Gambling Gang. When I was looking around, there was actually, because there's a George Downing that used to live here. Very famous, very famous guy. Um, and uh, well, what happened was that um, he, in fact, that was the guy to do with Downing Street in London. And also, um, we move up a generation to another Downing, and uh, here had to do with Downing College in Cambridge. So we've got some famous people that used to live here in Gambling Gate. And they're building a new housing estate just on the outskirts of Gambling Gate, and it's called Downing Gardens. So this is where the new housing estate's going to be, Downing Gardens. Um, actually, it's not a lot happening here at the moment. Uh, uh, it looks like they've only just actually just started. Well, we're at um, Mill Street now, and uh, as I said before on, on other videos, that you can also tell the names of, uh, of, of different pubs that used to be here, because normally the houses still keep them. Like, for example, the house across the road from me at the moment is called uh, the Old Rose and Crown. So I dare say that was a pub, you know, many years ago. So we're walking down Mill Street, uh, there's a hairdresser which is of course closed, which will open very shortly I dare say, a um, convenience store. We continue walking down this road and uh, I've never walked down here before so we're surprising to see what we can find. Not many villages now have their own petrol station but uh, Warboy's garage is here behind me. Uh, just a small little uh, garage. Sells petrol and diesel and you can get your car repaired here as well. Now, I don't know if there's other places meant to be a, or used to be a pub years ago. I don't know, but uh, it's got Royston Final Ales and Bottle Stout. I must admit, this is not the actual best day to go around uh, looking at villages or small towns because uh, it's actually, believe it or not, it is trying to rain. And uh, it's not that warm either. Anyway, things I do for video, we continue walking. Right, we're walking along Honey Mill, or Honey Hill, should I say. And, uh, well, we're walking past the uh, the Gambling Gay Baptist Church. And uh, from there, we head on to the quarry that I was talking about. So here, in the middle of uh, Gambling Gay, and uh, this is the uh, quarry that I was telling you about. It's... Uh, Quite a big deep hole actually as it actually steps down to it and there's a playground at the bottom as you can see. So here we go, we're going down into the quarry. Now in the Middle Ages um, this quarry was actually used as a, a place to practice archery. Because way back then, um, if you're a young man, you had to know how to uh, fire, you know. An arch, archery, I don't know what you call it actually, bow and arrow I suppose in some ways. So that's what you have to learn to do and it's quite safe to do it down here. And of course, before that, this is where the, uh, the stones were got for the church. Now there's a lot of old 
old houses here. Uh, and uh, some of these, well, they are hundreds of years old. And, uh, let me show you, it's like an old manor house, which is uh, right in front of me. I'm gonna show you a bit of that. But also, I'm gonna show you another telephone box. And it's in fact got a telephone inside. We're just going to see if it works. Let's have a listen. I don't know if you could hear that, but it actually works. So that's two telephone boxes I find working in the last few weeks, which is which is not bad. Right, we're walking down now Shinks Shinks Road. I think is that how you pronounce it, I'm not really sure. And uh, down here in fact uh, we're heading out, we actually go past the, the local post office and then we sort of head out of a gambling game. Right on the outskirts of gambling game, there's uh, there's this walk here actually, and in fact it goes on for 40 miles, believe it or not, and it's uh, it's part of the, the, the Shinks, Shinks, I, I think that's the name. Evidently, it means sinks from years ago. And um, so this walk will goes on for, as I say, for about 40 miles if you want to walk the whole thing. And uh, you go through Amps Hill and you just continue on and on and on. Anyway, so that's it. That's my little trip here to um, Gambling Gate. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It would be absolutely fantastic. If you want to leave a comment, do that as well. Once again, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching and um, we'll catch you a little bit later. I'll say bye for now. Bye.